we found some awesome travel trailers with king size beds. So stick around and check them out. Hi everybody, Mike with RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. Today we're gonna to be doing some brief reviews of amazing travel trailers with king size beds. We get requests all the time from our taller viewers to make a video with trailers that have king size beds. So we finally did it. And we found some amazing floor plans out there. So if you've seen our YouTube videos before, Welcome back to the channel. We're certainly happy to have you back. If this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. We make tons of YouTube videos all about RVing, and we also have our website called rvblogger.com where we literally have hundreds and hundreds of articles all about RVing as well. And if that's not enough, we also have our Facebook group that we hope you'll join called RV Camping for Newbies, where you can meet fellow RVers ask tons of questions, and learn all about RVing from your fellow RVers. Today though, we have a bunch of reviews set up for some amazing travel trailers with king size beds. So without any further ado, let's get started right now. All right, this travel trailer is a Heartland Mallard Ultralight model. It's the 210RB, and it weighs in at just 4,598 pounds, and the length of it is just 22 feet and one half inch. So it's really not that long, but it feels much bigger in here. And as we go through uh, on the review, you'll see why. Now, when you first come in from the exterior door, you walk right into the kitchen and living area. The kitchen area itself is an inline kitchen, lots of countertop space. It's got a nice big sink, three burner range, oven down below, also plenty of drawers and storage space down below as well. And then above, you've got a spot to hang your TV here. You have your microwave oven and then more storage above as well. Now, the refrigerator in this model is also kind of in line. It's just on the other side of the entry door. But one really neat feature with this refrigerator I've never seen before, this is a chalkboard finish and you can write on your refrigerator with chalk, leave notes, you know, that kind of thing. It's pretty cool. The fridge is a very good size and you know we like the fact that it has a separate freezer from the refrigerator. And then just to the left of the refrigerator, there's pantry storage above and also down below. And that's probably about a foot and a half deep. So lots of storage there. So just across from the kitchen area is the living area as well in this RV. And it's, it's a smaller uh, trailer, but it uses the space really well. This particular sofa can fold out and become a bed, so one or two people can sleep on this. And then you have some storage above as well. Now, if you're wondering where your dinette table is, it would sit right here. It's got a freestanding table, which currently is located in the storage space, but you would just have a table here. You'd be able to watch TV right across from you. So it's a really nice little setup, it makes the most of the space. One of the best features of this travel trailer though is the fact that it comes with a king size bed. Uh, so lots of folks are looking for king size bed, especially folks that are taller. Um, and just so you get a feel for the height in here, I'm 5'11". You know, there is a good, you know, eight inches over my head. So you could probably be 6'6 and be able to stand up in here just fine. But as you can see, there's storage on both sides of the bed plus over top. So there's plenty of room for you to, to make the most. You can sort of get around the bed on both sides, but not, you know, not completely you, because these cabinets come out pretty far. Plus there's a lower ledge below that prevents you from, from going back much further. There's also a little storage under this bed. So you could hide some extra storage items under there as well. All right, so this is a pretty decent sized bathroom. I'm standing in the shower right now and you know, you've got about six inches over my head. So if you were six five, you could stand up in here easily uh, and be able to take a shower as long as your head stays in the skylight, but it's pretty big. So I think you'd be fine with that. I like the glass doors in the, you know, the corner shower setup. I think it makes the most of the space and it feels very spacious in here. Uh, off to the side here, we have a, a deep medicine cabinet, which gives you plenty of storage. Lots of countertop space around the vanity. 
and then even more storage underneath. And then of course we have the commode and then plenty of storage above the commode as well. Okay, this travel trailer is the Forest River Independence Trail. It weighs in at 5,220 pounds and it's 29 feet 6 inches long. This is a really nice size travel trailer. Feels very, very open and spacious and it can sleep over six people in here. I would say you could get anywhere between six and nine people depending on you know how many are kids and things like that. When you first walk in the door, you have a really nice big kitchen area and living space. And one of the reasons it feels so big is because there's a giant slide out on that side of the RV that contains the dinette and the refrigerator, but it really opens up the floor space in here. Okay, so as you can see, I'm now standing in the kitchen part of this trailer and it's a big L-shaped kitchen starting with the refrigerator over here and it has a separate refrigerator and freezer. Very, very nice size. Sort of has the cabinet color on the front of it so it blends in with all the cabinetry in here. Then you have a very large single bowl sink, storage down below and plenty of it. Lots of countertop space in here. This travel trailer has some of the you know most abundant amount of counter space I've ever seen. It's got a nice three burner stove, oven down below. We have a microwave up top. These cabinets are super deep and large. Lots and lots of storage space up here. So even though it doesn't have a pantry per se, there's plenty of storage. As we wrap around, there's more counter space here. This could be like a coffee station or whatever you like to do. Your TV would mount above and then you have even more storage down below. Okay, so directly across from the kitchen area, we have a very large U-shaped dinette set up here. This can also convert into a bed and one person could pretty easily sleep here. It's got these nifty little storage compartments underneath each side of the dinette. So there's plenty of storage in here as well. And then back here, you have a sofa that jackknifes out. I think a small kid could sleep on here very, very comfortably. Underneath the jackknife sofa, there's a place where you can store your shoes. So they really made the most of all the little details in here, I think. As we get into the bunkhouse, there's even more storage. You have a wardrobe closet, open spaces or cubbies down below, and then all three of the steps have these drawers that pull out. So that's really, really a neat feature. The bunk beds themselves can easily sleep an adult on each one or maybe two kids in each one and one nice feature that I like about these bunks is each bunk has its own window it's pretty rare that you see that but it certainly creates a lot of light in there which I think is a nice feature so here I am in the shower in the bathroom and the bathroom is located between the kitchen and living area and the master bedroom which is in the front of the camper so uh, you have to walk through the bathroom to get to your master bedroom, but at least it's, it's accessible for everyone that's camping in here. The shower itself is about three feet wide by maybe two feet. It's got a shower curtain that comes across and, uh, you know, that's adequate. We always prefer the doors with the, with the shower uh, curtain on a track, but that's okay. It's a decent size. Height-wise, um, you know, you could maybe be 6'3" and not have to crouch as long as you're in the skylight area. Okay, so across from the shower, you have your vanity area. There's a nice size medicine cabinet built in. And then of course, storage for linens and things like that. Down below, you have a nice size sink. A little bit of storage below that, but a whole bunch of storage in the other side of the linen closet as well. So here we are on the other side of the bathroom in the very front of this travel trailer, and we're in the master bedroom which has a full king size bed, which is fantastic if you need that extra space. There's a little nightstand with cubby storage under each one of those. There's a receptacle on both sides and USB ports on one side so you can charge your phones. Plenty of storage over top. This goes all the way to the front of the travel trailer. So you've got, I don't know, a good arm's length of storage up there. One other thing to note is under the mattress, there's additional storage hiding under there. And the last feature about this bedroom that's pretty cool is it has its own exterior door so you can come in and out 
without walking through the whole entire camper. This travel trailer is by Heartland and it's the Mallard Ultralight Series. It's the M26 model and this travel trailer has some really neat features to it, but you're going to want to stick around because one of them is a king size bed and we'll show you that in the master bedroom shortly. But first of all, when you walk in the front door, you have walk right into your living area and kitchen area. Uh, the kitchen itself is an L-shaped kitchen, which I really like. It seems like you've got a lot of counter space up here. Nice big double bowl sink. The range is a three burner range with a small oven underneath. And then you have a microwave up top and some storage cabinets up here as well. Underneath, there's a bit of storage under here also. And there's also some storage over on this side um, of the island as well. The drawers are all the way out here on the end, so you do get a little bit of drawer space in your kitchen area too. Now, uh, this refrigerator is really cool, and um, the Heartland um, Mallard series anyway that we've seen have this chalkboard finish on here, which is really cool. You can write on here with your chalk and, you know, write your plan for the day or whatever you're going to be doing, um, but the refrigerator itself is a good size separate freezer, separate refrigerator, and we like that setup quite a bit. And then to finish off the kitchen area, there's a good size pantry. Okay, so right across from the kitchen area is the dinette and the living area. And one thing to note is that this whole entire uh, dinette and sofa area is in a slide out that pushes out. So it really makes things feel extra wide and big in here. The dinette will seat four people it also converts into a bed so someone can sleep here. And then there's also additional storage under each dinette seat. As you roll out into the living area, this couch can fold out and become a bed for two people. So the entertainment center itself is really different. It's got a little bit of storage up top for movies, DVDs, whatnot. Storage down below. But the really cool part is your TV doesn't go here. It goes here <laughs> and you can rotate this thing back and forth so if you want to watch TV out here in your living area you can or if you want to check out TV from in your master bedroom you can do that too and we'll go in the master bed bedroom next and check that out now so here we are in the master bedroom at the front of this travel trailer and it's got a nice big king-size bed in here which is Fantastic. You'll also note <clears throat> at each end, it's got a wardrobe closet. And then here in the middle, it's got this overhead storage, which goes all the way to the front. It's probably two feet deep and it does go all the way across as well. One other thing to note about this bedroom is it has two doors. Susan is standing in one entrance into the master bedroom and right here on my side is the other. So there's actually two entrances in. And that's kind of a nice feature as well. So here we are at the other end of the travel trailer. We kind of already reviewed around here once, but now we're at the part where the, we're going to show off the double bunks that are back here. These are pretty good size. And depending on the size of your kids, you could get two kids in each double bunk. Definitely one very, very comfortably. You'll also note down below, there's additional storage underneath the bunks as well. So here I am in the bathroom. It's a very good sized bathroom. It's about three and a half feet wide in the shower, maybe two feet this direction, but it does have a tub. So if you have little ones that you need to dunk in the tub at the end of the night, boom, you can do that. Also in here, they put the vanity in the corner and they also did the same with the medicine cabinet. So they really take advantage of the space that way. So you also have no storage below here, but You'll have to put something on the wall for additional storage if you need it. This travel trailer is by Heartland. It's part of their cruiser lineup, and this is the Embrace EL260 model. It weighs 5,980 pounds, and it's 30 feet 8 inches long and sleeps up to five people. We think this is a really, really cool design, and you'll find out why, especially towards the end of the video. But when you first walk in the front door, you walk right into your living space with a nice entertainment center, and that wraps right on around into the kitchen area. 
The entertainment area uh, features some storage up above, a really nice size TV that can fit in here. You have your controls and your radio and all that good stuff, and then some storage down below for movies, what have you, and a little cubby down at the bottom. That leads right into the kitchen area where you have a three burner stove, oven down below it, and a microwave up top. The one thing I really like about this kitchen is just all this countertop space. I mean, it's, it's huge in here. And it also comes with a really nice size, big square or rectangular sink. Up above, there's plenty of room for storage all the way across, nice deep storage cabinets. Down below, you have all your drawer space. And then of course, some storage below the sink. Right across from the kitchen counter and all that area, you have whoops, a refrigerator with a separate freezer and that rolls right into the dinette that is in a three foot slide out. So that bumps everything out and makes this whole area feel much bigger. This also converts into a bed for one person and there's additional storage under each of the dinette benches as well. The living area also includes a comfy two person couch that folds out into a bed that two people can sleep in just fine. So here I am inside the shower and it's about three feet by two feet. Feels pretty big in here. Overhead, I've got about four inches. I'm 5'11", so you could be up to 6'3 and be comfortable inside this shower. The best part of the bathroom though is on the other side. Another nice feature in this really big bathroom is this gigantic linen closet. It goes back about two feet, plus you have a couple of cubbies down below. Comes with these nice, uh, I guess, towel hooks over top of the commode. But this area is very, very nice. It's got his and her sinks, his and hers medicine cabinets, plenty of drawer space in the middle. Just a really, really nice look. You would expect to see something like this in, a, in someone's home in a nice residential bathroom. Uh, but this is a really good feeling, nice big bathroom. Check out how they designed their master bedroom in here. All right, this is a really cool bedroom setup because from inside your master bedroom, there's no wall here. It's just a pass through wide open area. So you can watch TV from inside your bed or you can keep an eye on the kids that are sleeping out here in the main area. Inside the master bedroom, it features a king size bed, which is terrific if you want all that extra space. It's also got a nightstand on both sides with an, an electrical receptacle so you can plug in and charge your phone. And then over top, there's a wardrobe closet on each side and then plenty of storage throughout the middle over top of the king size bed. Also, there's additional storage below the king size bed for you as well. All right, this travel trailer is the Keystone Cougar 32RLI. It's a big travel trailer, and honestly, it feels more like a fifth wheel when you walk in here. It is 35 feet, 11 inches long, and it weighs 8,329 pounds. But just look how spacious and beautiful this is. I mean, honestly, when I walked in here, I really thought I walked into a fifth wheel. I was a little confused for a minute. The kitchen area is super nice. It's got a uh, island in the middle, which you see in a lot of fifth wheels, but you know, big old island, lots of countertop space, double bowl sink, plenty of storage on this side of the island as well. Right across from that, you have your separate freezer and refrigerator, microwave, three burner stove, really nice size oven. And then you have all this counter space off to the right, lots of storage here. Also, plenty of drawer space. And then behind me here, you have even more countertop space, more storage down below. That goes all the way back, nice and deep. And then even more storage up top. Right across from the kitchen area, you have your dinette, which can seat four people. Very nice setup. I love the windows that are in here, all nice big windows. Then you have your movie style seating here, which is really nice and comfy, reclines. It's set up so it's right across from the entertainment center, which we'll look at in just a minute. But one thing to note is that this entire side slides out. It's about a three foot slide out. So it really gives you a ton of extra space. Towards the back of the travel trailer, you have a nice big sofa that converts into a queen size bed. So two people can sleep here plenty of storage up above and then that wraps right around into where the entertainment center is 
storage above. You can get a nice big TV in here and then have your fireplace down below. One more thing to note, this whole side of kitchen and entertainment center also slides out. So with both sides sliding out, it just makes this whole area feel really nice and big and large. All right, so here I am in the bathroom and as usual, standing in the shower. And as you can see, there's plenty of room in here. We really like these doors that wrap around in these corner showers. There's just so much room to be able to move around inside the shower. Height wise, uh, I don't know, there's probably a good six, seven inches over my head. I'm 5'11", so you could be pretty tall. As long as you're within the skylight area, you'll be fine in the shower. Outside, there's a nice medicine cabinet here, which is a very good size, and then a good size vanity, and also storage down below. To the left of me here, there is a really nice big linen closet that has storage above and below as well. Here we are in the owner's bedroom. It's a private room with a door, so it's a very nice setup. And uh, this unit features a king size bed, which is fantastic. The only drawback is there are no nightstands on either side. But if you need a big bed, this unit provides that for you. It's got a little bit of storage over top as well. And then the other nice feature is just the size of this closet. It's the whole width of the travel trailer. Um, and it's a wardrobe closet, so you can hang things and store things in here very easily. There's plenty of room. And then at the at this side of the RV, there's plenty of storage up top. And then down below, there's a chest of drawers that are built in as well. And then finally, the one last one last thing is under the master, under the king size bed. There's plenty of storage space under there as well. Let us know which one of these awesome travel trailers was your favorite by leaving us a comment down below. We hope you enjoyed checking out all these travel trailers today. And by the way, speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of these boxes down below. And remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger channel when you do and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every week when we put out a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.